in the activity we got the ratio between circumference and diameter so circumference divided by the diameter is 3.1 so we will just assign that as pi so the exact value is 3.1415 it's non-ending non-terminating we can just use 3.14 okay so we will say that circumference divided by diameter is pi now to get the circumference we're going to let's write it like that okay c divided by diameter is pi so derived for circumference we can multiply both sides by diameter so multiply by diameter as you see on the right side we already have pi times diameter see yana you follow the did you follow the derivation mm -hmm. therefore we can say that circumference is pi times diameter so that's our first formula pi times the diameter pi d okay so if you put the the pi and the diameter together that means you're going to multiply that now what if the given is a radius so it's easy to say if we're going to use a radius it's easy to say pi times how is diameter related to radius it's twice right so you can say pi times two times the, times the radius. radius okay or or let's just say circumference is two times pi times r okay okay so let's now have a practice so I've got two problems here. Yana, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, first problem. If the diameter of a circle is 15 centimeters, compute for its circumference. 15 centimeters. 15 times 3.14. What's the answer? 47.1. Write it there. You can write it off to the tenth place. 7.1 okay so 47.1 the unit is centimeters okay second problem if the radius is four centimeters find its circumference four times two times three point fourteen twenty 